how to find our footprints as a question you don't have to find it it is in you but because of the wavering mind and the greed and egoism selfishness you forgot to look into you today is the eighth day of your ten bull story kakua both bull and self transcended whip rope person and bull all much in no thing this heaven is so washed no message can stain it how may a snowflake exist in a raging fire here are the footprints of the patriarch now seven stages have gone to try to catch the mind try to catch our samskriti try to catch what is lost looking around and now we have become little conscious the whip rope person and bull all merge into not nothing it is no thing we are not joining with the brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra neither to the black and the white and the brown and the yellow neither neither to the hindu christian muslim sikh jaina and the varieties we are just watchful the such watchfulness is so beautiful when you when you reach that stage that you have started understanding that from where you came from you started looking into you you started growing your own vegetables africa they were talking the the whole africa went into bust even though nigeria has got the biggest petrol gas which they found out oil but they couldn't become rich like the venezuela was one of the richest country they have the maximum amount of oil resources but the venezuela started breaking into pieces nigeria africa they found out the only one thing is they forgot to grow their own products in their own house when you grow your own products in your own house first time you start realizing wow there is no pain at all to deliver anything to deliver a baby to deliver a truth to deliver an answer to deliver anything it just happens you don't have to worry about it you don't worry about anything because everything is grown in your house when you are forgotten they put money in your hand and you ran after that money into the cities in the name of massive big salaries the moment you got the salary you came out everybody pickpocketed you you never cook your food you go to several 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 restaurants which is dirty like i said in chik belapur in a restaurant i found rat droppings in the set dosa it looks like a chain of massive big hotels around india one of their branches in chik belapur it is painful hence in india there is two communities communities you try to break them in any manner it is not possible to break you can bring nuclear, <laughs> nuclear bombs also you can bring anything possible but you cannot break them that community is called the brahmin community in the hindu caste their community is called the jaina community sometimes they call it marwadi community these two communities i found them yesterday crp the inspector of the education department came his name is called shridhar he is also a pujari he is a brahmin person he does puja for our temple too before 
Anywhere he goes, he won't even drink water. Several times I made a fight. If you are doing puja, if you take your, your Tirtha and Prasada, and you don't take even water from us, we will not touch your Prasada and your Tirtha. But he continued, he doesn't take. And the same, I had the Jaina community students. They will come, they will practice very much, but they will not drink even water from you. They carry water, they won't eat anything. And one time when I was traveling from Indranagur to Devanagari with the Jain community people, they were making food inside and then giving to all the kids and to me also, please eat, please eat. When they came to the ashram also, they were not eating, they were making their own food. So I was thinking, why? When you travel from here, you go and eat from another place. You are getting disconnected from cooking food in your own house. You are allowing your mind to get attracted to the dirty hotels that all that glitters is not that gold. That glittering you get attracted. Hence, maybe the community has taught the children, don't eat anything from outside. Yes. And when they don't eat anything from outside, I had a discussion with Arka with the look children, so much money has gone trying to entertain the children in various, various restaurants, hotels, film theatres and all. We could have built a huge big building. <laughs> look at the Jains and the Brahmins. They have the biggest saving, not because they have the savings that everybody should save and then become conscious. No, no, no. But life is easy. Trying to tell you that your custom is very, very important. Whip, rope, person and bull, all merge in no thing. Yes. All that finish, you know, your strength. You know, you get up early morning, you take a bath, you do all your Sanskrit, your puja. You grow your own vegetables and you feel very healthy. Even if a war happens also. If you are buying food from outside, without a single shot being fired, the country can be taken over. Hence, in Japan, they give a lot of importance, almost Japan and all around the world, they give a lot of importance to the farmers to grow their own food. Because a war breaks out, if you don't have anything to eat, you can be taken over. Hence, growing your own vegetables, practicing your own samskriti, not going to the gymnasiums. That also you can do, but practicing here is very important. This heaven is so vast, no message can stain it. This heaven of yours, yours is heaven. Very beautiful, the house is so, your heart, the whole body is like a heaven. No amount of dirt can stain it, yes. It doesn't stain, it is like a lotus flower. My roots are in black soil, I drink the muddy water. And still, I bloom so beautifully, but it doesn't get stained. You are like the lotus flower. How many a snowflake exist in a raging fire? How may a snowflake? Here are the footprints of the patriarch. Yes, this is where you find your samskriti. This is where you find your family. This is where you find your truth. And that truth is where you look into the mirror, you find first time you found ah, God. But when you look at the mirror, you want to become an, like another film actor, film actress. You are still robbed. You are not robbing, you have been robbed. You have been remote controlled. Hence, growing your own vegetables, your own flowers. Cooking your own food, grinding right inside makes you very, very strong. Removing the water, washing machine and washing with your own hands, squeezing it up, going to the sunlight and drying it up. Wow, it's power. It is medicinal. First time you felt the sweat is coming out and in the sweat you can see it's pearl drops and the pearl drops you can find it is gold. You have reached home. Once you start washing your own clothes, you start keeping your own house, you have got pedicured and manicured, you don't go for any kitchen talk. You have saved it so that you can go back to your family, to the joint family and the family tree. And in the night you can have a beautiful sleep because you do not have to worry. If suppose 
the family people die, which house should I go? I keep wandering. You don't have to even want. You have a family tree. You can walk in because you know where the gates are, where the doors are, where the which tree is there, which pond is there, which place you can go to practice your culture, your dance, your music. It is so beautiful. And you can get all the beautiful organic food. If that is not the truth, if that is not the God, then any amount of meditation cannot help you to find you. You are lost.